There was lots of industry in Leakslip. It was always an industrial town. When Intel came here, they were able to construct a new factory up there in 18 months with an Irish guy in charge of the whole operation. The site is one kilometre long and down about three storeys into the ground. I don't think people are aware of what happens behind the laurel up there. The day I came in, at least for two months, I was in awe. My manager, he took me to the fab. I just looked up. I was like, where am I? Is this like Star Trek or something like that? <laughs> it still amazes me. The raw ingredient that we start with is sand, one of the most abundant elements on the planet. And we end up with the most complicated devices made by humans. Everything in between is creativity, capability, endeavor, hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. Don't accept what you're doing now is the best way of doing things, because it's not. Somebody will always have a better way of doing what you're doing now. I sit every day at my tack ops, and I see engineers, technicians, making the impossible possible, and that requires just huge innovation. Working at Intel is a pleasure. I think it's probably a, a good uh, platform to, to kind of boost your career and to indeed progress in it. And the technology that's been developed here is the cutting edge of it. We used to have just data in text form. Now it's all video, it's image, it's speech. You know, our ability to use tools and infrastructure to better ourselves, you know, to better that community. You know, we're all one Intel and that's constantly being communicated. It builds that level of community where everyone tries to help each other as much as they can. Intel will take great protection of its surrounding environments. The people that are here are sharing their knowledge, their experiences. If you show that you're available and you spark an interest, I think Intel goes above and beyond. It's been a brilliant and great 20 years. What takes place in here is magic. <laughs>